Hi friend, in this video today, I wanna to take a brief moment to walk you through the variety of print products that are available for order directly through your gallery link. These same options are gonna be available to you whether you're a wedding client of mine or a portrait client of mine. And even if you're a prospective client, I think this might still be a helpful video for you to understand what print products are available to you and just how easy it is to place an order. And before I jump right into explaining what print products are available and how to place an order, I first wanna take just a couple minutes to talk to you about why I think you should consider printing your photos in the first place. In a world that's become increasingly digital, I think we're actually inclined to enjoy the tangible items in our lives that much more. Digital galleries, as beautiful as they are, are not heirlooms. On the other hand, printed photos are often the ones that get passed down as heirlooms and as a physical legacy of the memories that you're making. For me, the printed photos that I have throughout my home and in my wife's and my wedding album are the ones that I get to interact with on a regular basis and get to really enjoy in my daily life. It's very rare that I will actually scroll back through Instagram or Facebook or even look through my phone to see old photos and memories. So printing your photos, in my opinion, is the best way to remain emotionally connected to the memories that they exist to preserve in the first place. I also have a couple examples of these actual print products here with me today, and I'd love to just show you some of what they look like. As you can see, my wife and I took advantage of ordering an album ourselves, and we ordered this directly through the same gallery service that's available to you. I love the thick pages of this album. It feels very heirloom quality. Um, it's really held up nicely for these first several years of our marriage, um, and I really trust that it will for years to come. I just love having these photos in printed form. Uh, my wife and I find ourselves reaching for this much more often than we do going through our online galleries. And it's also, you know, just a staple that we keep on our coffee table here. And when friends or family comes to visit, it's nice to be able to go through these images with them. To be honest, I think this honors the quality of the photos that we have um, in a way that just viewing them online on a screen would not. So this is one of the products that we've taken advantage of. We also have an example here of um, a one of the framed and matted prints that I have for a family client of mine. This is an awesome option. These are available in a number of different sizes. It's a really nice custom size and custom mat. This is a white wood. They're available in lots of different tones and colors and lots of different sizes. And then here is just a collection of really um, simple print packs of fine art images here. So these are printed on a, a, a matte photo. The texture of this is almost like a recycled paper. Uh, it doesn't have the same sheen that you might expect from a gloss photo. Those are also available, but I love the tones that are available through matte and fine art printing. It almost feels like a cloth image. So it's really kind of a step above the quality that you could expect to receive at like a, like a Kinko's or CVS or one of those third party options. Um, I really do stand by the quality of the products. Um, that are available through here, and those are an awesome option. This can be a really fun way to just have a small stack of photos that you can go through in the same way that you could an album. There are a variety of vessels available through your gallery storefront, so there are linen boxes, glass boxes, and that's another really popular option for people to display a small collection of these four by sixes, five by sevens. Um, and again, just a really fun way to uh, get a small collection of photos um, from the day. Now that I've made my case for why I think you should consider printing your photos, let's quickly jump into an actual gallery so I can show you just how easy it is to place an order if that's something you're interested in doing. All right, so jumping into Claire and Peter's gallery here as just one example, I wanted to quickly show you uh, what the gallery interface is and how to order prints from it. So um, if you're a wedding client, you'll notice that your gallery is likely stored in sort of incremental chronological order. Um, if you're a portrait client, it's more likely that there's just a collection of photos off the bat, but you can simply scroll down to obviously access and see all the photos, or you can jump to a specific section of the day if you're most interested in that. All of these photos can be downloaded, obviously, but when it comes to prints, there's a couple different strategies that I'd recommend. The first thing that I'd recommend you do is before kind of selecting even a print product or anything, is to just scroll through your gallery and use this heart icon here to select your favorite photos. And that gives you a smaller collection of photos to eventually work with when you're considering uh, photos that you might wanna print. Once you do that, you can hop over to the shop 
to get a sense of all the print products that are available to you. There's quite a few of them. I know I've shown a couple examples today. Everything from sort of individual frames, to canvas prints, glass boxes and linen boxes, which were obviously sort of more intended to feature a collection of images rather than a standalone image. And then of course there's different album designs as well. Lots of different products to choose from, but the process of placing an order is very similar regardless of what you choose. So jumping into albums real quick, let's go with the lay flat album as that is the most popular option uh, that clients choose to print with me. PickTime will pre-design an album for you if you'd like, but for the purposes of this, we'll start fresh. You can choose from different sizes and different materials, and then of course, different page layouts. Each of these is gonna correspond to a different price. So just be mindful of that as you're looking at different options. To edit a any given spread on the gallery, you can choose from a variety of different print layouts, and it's as easy as clicking through. And then the uh, process of adding photos, again, is as simple as dragging and dropping. So for the purposes of this, let's just drag that photo in there, and then maybe we'll drag this photo where they're about to see each other into this spot here. Once the photo's in place, you can take your time really finessing kind of the size and layout that you want. There's lots of different ways to do this. And so um, just be mindful of that as you're designing. I'm available to help you throughout the entire ordering process if you do run into any snags, but the process is very simple and is very intuitive um, for clients to be able to really create a custom album for them. So jumping back into the shop here, I can also show us a matted frame, for instance. A matted frame is a really nice option for sort of a standalone art piece in your home. There's a lot of different sizes. You can choose the different materials. There's lots of different framing materials. So let's go with a white frame real quick and then you can choose the different orientations. Let's go for an 11 by 14, for example. And then the other thing to consider is, again, photo crop. That's a great crop there, but we can bring it even tighter if we want to. And again, kind of adjust how it's appearing in the frame. This is an actual live preview of how your print will be displayed. Let's say a print size of nine by 12. See how all of a sudden the cropping orientation of that photo changed. Most of the time it works just fine, but I do want you to keep in mind that it's important to preview the print before you place the order. Once you have any of these things decided, you can simply add them to your cart and check out like you would at any online retailer. Production time varies from product to product. There's lots of information that's available to you directly from PickTime. They have tutorials built into your gallery that you'll be able to experience. Also, these uh, galleries can be made available to any friends and family members who may be interested in purchasing prints themselves. I hope this video was a helpful way for you to understand what print products products are available to you. As always, if you have any questions at all, I love to help clients out throughout the print ordering process. So don't hesitate to reach out and I hope to see you soon. Thanks.